Today I'm going to be talking in this video about solar flares and solar storms and solar winds and all that good stuff and how they affect us. Hey everybody, I'm Shereen and I'm with Gems by Frequency and I'm the Frequency Girl. I like to talk about frequencies, vibrational frequencies, how they affect our body, how they affect our life, what they do, all that good stuff. And so today I'm going to be talking in this video about solar flares and solar storms and solar winds and all that good stuff and how they affect us. So first things first, let's talk about solar flares. Um, I believe we just had one on Saturday, um, which explains a lot. So I'm going to go through, with, go through some of those things with you. So a solar flare is basically the fancy word for it is a coronal mass eruption or ejection. And as NASA likes to describe it, it's basically a giant volcano explosion that happens on the sun. So part of the sun kind of blew up like a volcano, and now we have um, some of it, the sun's plasma and ions and electrons and protons that are being emitted or ejected out off of the sun into the atmosphere. So what does that mean? That means that we have a wave of radiation coming through, um, into the atmosphere, into the universe, and it is affecting other planets now and affecting other electromagnetic fields, which causes a solar wind. Much like when we have um, a volcano here on Earth, we usually see a secondary weather pattern come into play, like a tsunami or a tornado or something like that, because of the result of a volcano. So same thing with the sun, we have the solar flare, which then causes a solar wind. So now we have this plasma energy hitting other um, planets and other electromagnetic fields, and then which leads us to a solar storm or a geostorm. So that involves astro asteroids, or I want to say asteroids, um, satellites, but other smaller debris in the atmosphere. Um, and it starts to play off their electromagnetic electromagnetic fields, um, it starts to hit other planets, and it also interacts with Earth, and so now we have a storm going on. Just basically all this like charged ionic energy, um, protons and plasma floating around, it's now bumping into electromagnetic fields. So that's a geostorm, which is what we're probably going to be experiencing later on in the week because we just had the solar flare. So you're probably wondering, well, how does that affect me? Should I be worried? Um, according to NASA's website, it says, you know, the Earth's electromagnetic field should be able to protect us from any of the radiation. However, it's still going to interact with our electromagnetic field. And what we're going to be probably seeing or sensing or feeling is going to be a little bit different than what we would want to feel or see or sense. Um, so what does that mean? Um, usually our phones can glitch out a little bit. Our computers can be a little glitchy. Oh, what else? Um, traffic lights can be off. Uh, just, you know, systems can go down. Any of that stuff on electronic, like electronically can kind of crash. Um, as well as Mercury's in retrograde right now. So that may play, play a little bit more into some of the glitches, if there is any electronic stuff going on, I will probably do a video about Mercury in retrograde to explain how does that play into any of this. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the the electrical stuff that goes on. Um, you're probably thinking, well, okay, well, does this affect me physiologically? Um, yeah, because our bodies have our own electromagnetic field, and so we're going to feel some disturbances as well. So what are some common things that you will feel if there's a solar storm going on? Um most common? Well, I was up till 3 a.m. last night. Um, insomnia, feeling restless, very common when there's a solar, solar storm going on. Um, jittery, feeling, uh, what else? Just kind of not yourself, unwell, confused, um, dizziness, irritability, mood swings, um, kind of just feel off and you're not really, you know, not, you don't really know why. Um, some erratic behavior, there may be some impulsivity there. Um, yeah, I mean, not everybody experiences these things when there's a solar storm. It's just if you are sensitive or, uh, you know, people that are have, uh, you know, sensitive to the weather or any changes like that, you're probably going to feel it as well. So yeah, those are some things that you can um, expect as well. I also read this morning that it can affect your blood pressure um, and that it there has been some research around it that when there's a solar storm, there's more strokes that occur. 
Um, so it does have an effect on our electromagnetic field. It does have an effect on our physiological state. Um, and that's why it's so important to keep your frequency, um, you know, maintained and high and optimal so that you're not affected by this stuff. But even then, you can still be affected. Case in point, I was up till 3 a.m. last night. Anyways, uh, a lot of people ask me, well, what can I do to protect myself if there's a solar storm or to make it less, you know, effective on me? Um, best thing you can do is just be aware that this, it's not your fault and this is what's going on. Um, you can tell yourself to not be so sensitive to it, um, as well as, you know, just have grace with yourself. Drink water, eat really healthy, do all the things that you can raise your frequency, which I will address in my other videos. But, you know, drink water. Um, just understand if your boss is moodier, that's why. If your kids are grumpy, that's probably why. If your, you know, animals are peeing on the floor, it's, you know, that's why. And just having an understanding that, you know, there's some disturbances going on in electromagnetic fields that are throwing people off. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the best thing that you can do. Um, some other things that you can do is you can click the link below and um, I, I'll talk about some of the tools that I use to raise my frequency and to keep my emotional well-being going so that I'm not affected by some of these things. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more videos and make sure you like it if you like this video and have a fabulous day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.